Growing old is hard to accept for some. They look back on who they used to be and what they used to look like, and they struggle to embrace the change. Great. Doesn't look good. Some of those people are driven so mad by these changes, they'll do anything they can to recapture even the faintest glimmer of their youth or to look as different as possible. These are the 20 people who had extreme plastic surgery. Number 20. Pixie Fox Now, this is Pixie Fox, a glamour model who has undergone more than 200 different surgeries in her quest to look like a cartoon character. Pixie began this epic transformation back in 2011 when she had her first surgery, and ever since then, she's undergone multiple breast augmentations, which have increased her size to 30J. I have had a long discussion with the surgeon and he said it would take about six weeks. She also had a lot of extreme surgeries, some of which she traveled to different countries for because they're actually illegal in the United States where she lives. Pixie had an operation in India to change her eye color. This is an extremely risky procedure that's not performed in either the USA or even in any European countries. She then traveled to South Korea to undergo an operation to alter her jaw shape. This this insanely agonizing procedure involves actually breaking the jaw, shaving the bone, and resetting it to mimic a cartoon character. Not only was this procedure extremely painful, but it also involved the risk of paralysis. She's had surgeries on her nose, her ears, and everything else, all allegedly to make them appear more like a Disney princess. But in recent years, all of those surgeries have taken their toll on her health, and Pixie has expressed how she suffered from complications during surgery, which caused some brain damage. The extreme surgeries had finally become too much for her body, and she decided that she wants to reverse some of them and become more of her natural self once again. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Somebody may be covered in tattoos that they think are gorgeous and stunning, but others may look and think that they look awful. The woman in these two images spent a small fortune having an awful lot of plastic surgery to look like this, and while some think that she may look like an NPC from that game Cyberpunk, it was 100% the look she was going for. She had over 100 surgeries to create the look and it's made her happy, so good for her. But what do you think of her bold new look? Was it worth all of the cost, the time under the knife? Regardless, this is one of the most extreme cases of plastic surgery we've ever seen. As always, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below by using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. Anthony Lafredo Anthony Lafredo also goes by the moniker of the Black Alien. He's had a lot of surgeries in order to modify his body, and although these have already been extreme in the eyes of most people, Lafredo wants to take things even further. He's had surgeries to remove his ears, he's had his nostrils removed, and even some of his fingers. He's also had his teeth sharpened and then dyed purple, and he has himself covered in tattoos. Lafredo says that he has always felt that he was living in a body in which he did not belong, and it made him miserable. But he wants to make a move into the most extreme area of body modification, if you can even call it that, because he wants to have a healthy leg amputated. While split tongues and tattooed eyeballs are extreme, there may be a difference between that kind of surgery and the active removal of a functioning and essential body part. This asks an interesting question about the ethics of such a surgery. Could a physician, who has sworn to cause no harm, actually do this in good faith? Especially when the desire for such a surgery is evidently the result of a severe form of body dysmorphia, which is a mental health condition where a person spends most of their time worrying about their body, where they see flaws and problems often, which are unnoticeable in other people. It can be deeply destructive and also cause a huge amount of distress to those who suffer from it. Number 18. Valeria Lukyanova Valeria Lukyanova from Moldova has spent most of her adult life pursuing an unlikely and very unique goal. She wants to look like Barbie. Not in the way that most people might mean, because she doesn't want peroxide hair and startled deer eyeballs. Oh no, she intends to literally look like a Barbie doll. 
including those weird proportions and bizarre measurements. And she has, as far as I can tell anyway, actually achieved it. She is the real-life Barbie, and has had so much work done to achieve this that she appears more doll-like than human. But that was always her goal. She might be insane, and has expressed some distinctly unpleasant views in some of her many interviews. It turns out that if you look like this, people are going to pay attention to you. She's not the only one to pursue the idea, though. As in the toy world, so it is in real life. And there's also a Ken doll human out there who has taken his pursuit of appearing like Barbie's famous plastic boyfriend very seriously indeed. He's had all of the enhancements and augmentations to sculpt his face and body so as to become a dolly person. But what do you think of all this business? Do you believe in the healthy standards of the Barbie doll? Or are you a believer in finding the beauty within people themselves? Let's get furious about things in the comments below, because this one certainly needs a jolly good discussion now, doesn't it? Number 17. Anastasia Pokreschuk Laying claim to the world's biggest cheeks is a rather niche achievement that may or may not be something to which anyone other than this person actually aspires. But who could possibly say? Whether or not there are multiple people who are actively participating in this Guinness World Record remains a mystery, but it is fair to say that Anastasia has definitely put the work in to be crowned the winner of this particularly weird competition. I don't like how you look like now, but you can change it no problem when the time will come. She has spent no less than six years and thousands of dollars on a lot of cosmetic procedures to make her cheeks swell to this abnormal size. She's had facial surgeries, Botox injections, and facial fillers, all to achieve the hamster cheek look that she has so desired. And so, do you feel the need to make judgments and such like? If you simply can't contain yourself anymore, you should go ahead and have all the opinions in the comments section down below. I know you want to, and I kind of want to know what you think about all of this stuff so far. Number 16. Dennis Avner Dennis Avner was known for his unusual body modifications that were, to all intents and purposes, intended to make him resemble a tiger. How successful was this? Well, that's open to interpretation now, isn't it? Avner, who liked to be known as Stalking Cat, had a total of 14 separate surgical procedures over the years. Alright. That doesn't look good. He actually impressed our old clipboard clutching friends and was granted the Guinness World Record for most permanent transformations to look like an animal. A highly coveted title, I'm sure. Avner began this crazy journey of transformation back in the early 1980s when he felt such an affinity with a tiger that he felt compelled to alter his own appearance in order to get closer to it. It's wild. He then began the modification process by having surgery on his face and getting tattoos to represent the tiger's features. So in total, his modifications would include tattoos, subdermal implants, flattening of his nose, silicone injections, splitting his upper lip, filling his teeth, reshaping his ears, modifying his hairline, piercing and transdermal application of whiskers, contact lenses, and even a robotic tail. Woo! He began to draw media attention as the process became even more extreme, and during interviews he consistently maintained that it was just in accordance with his own personal belief system. Number 15. Herbert Chavez Next up we have Herbert Chavez, who is the self-proclaimed biggest fan of Superman. In fact, he is such a huge fan that he wants to look exactly like his comic book hero. You know, the illustrated, absolutely not real and fictional character. Up, up, and away. But anyways, the guy has undergone more than two dozen different surgical procedures and intends to have more until he achieves his goal of becoming a perfect replica of Superman himself. Chavez lives in Manila in the Philippines in a modest home where his obsession is apparent on every single surface, which includes his own face. He's surrounded by statues and images of Superman, and the obsession, he says, began when he was just four years old and watched a Superman movie. He maintains that it is his dream to be just like Superman, and he intends to make that dream into a reality. Well, good luck to him when he gets to the flying and super strength parts of that transformation. Number 14. Eric Sprague 
Known professionally as The Lizard Man, Eric Sprague is an American sideshow performer who has undergone extensive body modifications in order to resemble a human lizard. Nice. He's really gone the distance in the adaptations department as well. He has green scales tattooed all over his body, his tongue has been split, which is called bifurcation, and he has subdermal implants and green lips. You're gonna stick it in your body, clean it off first. He's a veritable sight to behold. But this is his life. Sprague's work revolves around his identity as the Lizard Man, and it seems as though his own personal interests, as well as his paid employment, are also reflected in his bodily expressions. It takes all sorts, after all. Lizard Man takes part in many events, in which he enjoys suspending himself via flesh hooks and other body modification scene groups and activities. He's in a band that's known as Lizard Skinnerd and tours the world with them, and he also holds world records in the field of body suspension and is quite proud to be a full-time performance artist. Number 13. Sahar Tabar People express themselves in a variety of ways. Some like to sing or dance or dye their hair. Others like to get plastic surgery to look like a zombified version of Angelina Jolie. You know, to each their own. This is the weird tale of Fatima Kishvand, who is known more frequently by her Instagram username of Sahar Tabar. Although unconfirmed, there are rumors that Tabar has had a lot of cosmetic surgery procedures to alter her face. As many as 50 in some cases. She was first known back in 2017 when images of her macabre version of Hollywood star Angelina Jolie would first become widespread on the internet. In the years since her infamy began, Tabar has been arrested and imprisoned in Iran, accused of the vague and dubious crime of blasphemy. She was allegedly sentenced to 10 years in prison, which was then apparently converted and she was released on bail. Number 12. Allegra Cole Although Allegra Cole was brought up in a strict Mormon family in Salt Lake City, she decided that she would leave behind all of her traditional background and job as a piano teacher to become an internet model. It turns out that that is actually a thing. I mean, who knew? Anyways, in order to pursue this dream, Allegra decided that she needed to make changes to her body and that she would have multiple surgical procedures to achieve the look that she had in mind. Now, it may be possible for you to tell which parts that she's had enhanced to meet her goals. I'll simply leave that one up to you. All in all, it's said that Allegra has had three separate surgeries, spending $75,000 on her new shape. She's also an advocate for other women who seek similar surgeries for their own ideal shape. She can mainly be seen posting a lot on the social medias, where she has a substantial following, managing to make a living hawking all sorts of stuff to her millions of admirers. Such is the modern world. Number 11. Ethan Bramble Next up, we have a young man named Ethan Bramble, who made it the work of his life to become the self-proclaimed world's most modified youth. I'm sure his mother is quite proud. He's apparently undergone more than 40 different modification procedures to achieve his unique appearance and get all the lovely internet-y attention that he so craves. He has a split tongue, his belly button has been removed, for why, I beg you, and he has had his eyeballs tattooed. In fact, by the time that he was 22 years old, he had covered over two-thirds of his body with ink. He reckons that he spent somewhere in the region of $15,000 to $20,000 on his modifications, which is a substantial sum at such a young age. That's a lot of hours working at Starbucks, I guess. His most expensive process was getting his eyeballs filled up with black ink, and this is because the risk of being blinded by the procedure is enormously high. A modification that I'm certain he will never live to regret and will remain something that he's proud of forever, because who would ever regret such a thing as having your eyeballs filled with ink? Number 10. Justin Jedlika. Next up, we have a guy that we have vaguely heard about already. This is the human Ken doll to our earlier entry, the human Barbie. Justin Jedlika is an American man who has been in pursuit of his goal to be known as the human Ken doll ever since he had his first cosmetic procedure at 18 years old. You don't work out at all? Zero. Not, no it's, exercise. It's been about five years since I've been... It was a nose job, by the way. Ever since then, he's relentlessly enhanced and contoured his body and face 
and has really become a proper Ken in the process. The guy has had literally hundreds of cosmetic procedures to look the way that he does. He's had rhinoplasty, chest implants, shoulder implants, bicep implants, tricep implants, and he's even had his brow reshaped and lifted. He's had subpectoral implants, butt implants, and lip and cheek augmentations. In fact, there is really very little of the original Justin left. He's basically as fabricated as his beloved Ken doll idol. Number 9. Leo Blanco Leo Blanco has had one goal since he was 15 years old. That was to become the ultimate Michael Jackson impersonator. Well, we're all different now, aren't we? Leo is from Buenos Aires in Argentina, where he has begun to make a name for himself as a performer who is known for his uncanny Michael Jackson impersonation. So far, Leo has spent more than $30,000 on at least 11 different cosmetic surgery procedures and spent at least $30,000 in his quest to look more like the King of Pop. In fact, he's completely obsessed with looking like Michael Jackson, even though there are thousands of Michael Jackson impersonators all around the world. He's tried to make himself stand out from the others by changing his actual face to look like the King of Pop himself, and he still feels like he needs to have more surgeries and go even further to meet his goal. But what do you think? Does he look like Michael Jackson? Go on, have all your opinions about this young man's choices in the comments section down below. Number 8. Hang Miyoku Obsessed with getting soft skin, Hang Miyoku ended up having so many surgeries that eventually doctors refused to give her any more. The former model, however, was so completely addicted to having cosmetic treatments that she even tried to take things into her own hands with completely disastrous consequences. She could no longer get the silicone injections that she was so hooked on, and so she began injecting her own face with black market silicone and then eventually with cooking oil. This, of course, left her completely disfigured. She's had to have a lot of surgeries to try and fix her face ever since, but she is still suffering. Injecting junk into your face? It's a really, really bad idea. The corrective surgeries were funded by the Korean public who had witnessed her terrible plight after she was featured on a television show. Despite multiple surgeries, she is still extremely scarred and wishes that she could have her old face back. Number 7. Jocelyn Wildenstein Jocelyn Wildenstein is famous for a lot of reasons, but the most obvious one would be her face. She has undergone numerous surgeries over her life in order to make her facial features have more than a passing resemblance to a cat. She is called Catwoman in a divisive and unkind way. She's a New York socialite who began her fascination with cosmetic surgery back in 1998. Now, there are numerous stories and rumors about her marriage at that time, which may or may not be connected to the beginning of this fixation on surgery. She was often photographed by the tabloids as they enjoyed mocking her unusual choices and belittling her for her face. Then in 2016, she was charged with allegedly attacking her then-boyfriend with a pair of scissors at her apartment. Then there was a bankruptcy, despite rumors that she was worth billions of dollars. <laughs> you know, rich people stuff. Anyway, the woman is now aged 82 and still has a face that looks a lot like a cat, and that is absolutely her choice. Number 6. Kirill Tereshin Now, it's not really ever a brilliant idea to inject yourself with anything. Unless, of course, you're under the care of a proper medical doctor, you know. But what this unfortunate chap was attempting would be riddled with risk and, quite frankly, could have ended up even worse than it did. This former soldier from Russia had the nickname of Popeye on the account of his especially big and bulging biceps. This guy wanted them much bigger, though, much, much bigger indeed, and it didn't seem to matter how much spinach that he chugged down, they would not grow anymore. And so he devised a harebrained scheme, which must have come to him in a fever dream, frankly, which is so utterly insane that he decided to inject his biceps with petroleum jelly. 
That's right, Vaseline. When this went inevitably wrong, the man was warned by medical experts that he would likely lose both of his arms or could even die as a result of the mess. The petroleum jelly that he had injected had formed a solid mass inside of his arms, and that required a huge and dangerous operation to remove it all, with much of his own muscle going along with it. It is truly, truly horrifying. Number 5. Simon Cowell the renowned television personality Simon Cowell, who is also apparently a music executive and a talent show judge, is known for his sharp wit and brutally honest critiques. Born in 1959, Cowell had gained international fame as a judge on shows like Pop Idol, The X Factor, and America's Got Talent. With his signature blunt style, he became both loved and feared by contestants. Cal's contributions to the music industry included discovering and nurturing numerous successful artists, and beyond his professional accomplishments, his iconic high-waisted trousers and shirty attitude have made him a recognizable figure in pop culture. Well, he was mostly recognizable, that is, until he went somewhat overboard with the cosmetic procedures. Uh, so I feel better because of that, you know. I've been... Cowell has been the subject of much speculation when it comes to plastic surgery. Over the years, it seems that his appearance has undergone some subtle transformations that have sparked rumors of cosmetic enhancements. Some keen observers have jokingly wondered if his face had its own X factor. However, Cowell himself has been open about his use of cosmetic procedures in order to maintain a youthful look. In interviews, he has cheekily admitted to having Botox injections, and even joked about having his face tightened. Whether it's a well-executed grooming routine or a little nip and tuck, Cal continues to exude confidence and charm. So whether it's music or his appearances, Cal certainly knows how to keep us all guessing and entertained. If you happen to like that sort of thing, which <laughs> I do not, in case you're wondering. Number 4. Tiffany Taylor for some reason, Tiffany Taylor has spent her entire adult life trying to look exactly like Ivanka Trump. Well, it does take all sorts, I suppose. Tiffany Taylor believes, inexplicably, that Ivanka Trump is a role model for all women. She may well be insane, but that has not stopped her from seeking surgery in order to appear more like the ice queen daughter of Donald Trump. She had 13 surgeries in just one year, which included two breast augmentations, a nose job, and multiple cheek fillers. But when she went back for more, doctors actually refused to do more surgeries on her appearance. It seems as if Tiffany began this weird Ivanka obsession after the end of her 10-year marriage. It may be that she's actually in need of a little more support emotionally rather than a lot of slicing and filling and such like. She's had liposuction, lifts, tucks, fillers, enhancements all over her body and face, but unfortunately, however, it seems as if she's not actually achieved the goal of looking like the Trump that she had hoped for. Nobody has successfully guessed the celebrity her looks are emulating. People have suggested perhaps Brittany or Christina, but nobody has ever said Ivanka. Perhaps this has more to do with the generic face of Ivanka than anything else, but who could possibly say? Number 3. Cindy Jackson Cindy Jackson is mostly famous for having been in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the most cosmetic treatments. She ultimately lost this title after 17 years. In 2011, the news would report that Cindy had undergone 52 different procedures. This had included Botox, filler injections, peels, facelifts, liposuction, and teeth whitening. Cindy Jackson says that the reason for all the messing about with her face and body is to make her physical features match her so-called young spirit. Now, I don't know, but youthful attitude isn't really something that seems to be authentically expressed in pumping one's face full of silicone and such. But then again, what do I know? I'm an old curmudgeon who hangs out in the basement in my pajamas. Not really, of course. My life is super glamorous and filled with international travel and fancy schmancy extravagance. <laughs> Naturally. Anyways, it's believed that she has had over $100,000 worth of cosmetic procedures, and yet she has still been surpassed by many others in the pursuit of perfection, if that is indeed what it's all about. The further one delves into Cindy's story, the more it seems as if there are underlying factors behind her excessive use of cosmetic surgery. She says that she grew up in a boring town in Ohio, 
her father was ill-tempered, and she had really low self-esteem. So, like most of the other people that we've looked at with these problems, it seems as though she may be seeking some kind of external acceptance, which will likely never be satisfied by plastic surgery. Because the issues that she has have come from within. Number 2. Martina Big Martina Big, born Martina Adam, is a controversial German model and media personality known for her unique physical transformation and provocative statements. She gained international attention for her extreme body modifications, most notably her controversial decision to undergo extensive tanning injections to darken her skin in order to transform into a black woman. Martina Big's journey began in 2012 when she started undergoing numerous plastic surgeries to enhance her physical appearance. However, it would be her decision to pursue tanning injections in 2017 that would spark significant controversy and public backlash. She claimed that her skin darkening was the result of melatonin injections, but many medical professionals, along with the general public, had questioned the ethics and safety of her choices. Martina's controversial transformation has generated heated discussions about cultural appropriation, racial identity, and the boundaries of personal choice. Critics argue that her actions perpetuate harmful stereotypes and exploit racial identity for personal gain, while others see her as an example of the extreme lengths that some individuals will go to in order to alter their appearance and question societal beauty standards. Despite all of the backlash, Martina Big has maintained her stance, stating that she identifies as a black woman and feels a genuine connection to the African community. She's also become an advocate for diversity and inclusion, using her platform to challenge societal norms and promote body acceptance. Martina Big's story raises some important questions about identity, body autonomy, and the power of personal expression, and while her choices have undoubtedly sparked controversy and debate, they've also shed light on complex issues surrounding race, culture, and the influence of media in shaping our perceptions of beauty. But actually, this is blackface, however you want to frame it. It is racist, and to suggest otherwise would be insensitive. Do you want to weigh in down below in the comments? Because I bet that you have some opinions about it. You usually do. Number 1. Igor and Grichka Bogdanov Igor and Grichka Bogdanov, born Igor and Grichka Besadovsky, were French twin brothers who gained fame as television presenters, authors, and scientists. Born August of 1949 in France, the twins became recognizable figures in popular culture due to their unique appearance and contributions to science fiction. In the 1980s, the Bogdanov brothers captured attention with their television show Temps X, where they explored various topics related to science, technology, and futurism. Their distinct style, characterized by long white hair and surgically altered faces, facial features had made them instantly recognizable. They had a lot of surgery to alter their faces, in particular their cheekbones, which had become their signature look. But they were kind of creepy at the same time, I think. During their careers, the two pursued academic endeavors. Igor obtained a PhD in mathematics, while Grichka specialized in physics. They had authored several books on theoretical physics and cosmology, delving into complex subjects like the nature of time, the universe, and its origins. Throughout the years, the twins had faced criticism and skepticism regarding their scientific claims, but despite all of it, they remained intriguing figures within popular culture, with their enigmatic personas and unique appearance contributing to their status. They both died within six days of each other at the end of 2021 and in early 2022. Well, that was all rather depressing. It seems as if body dysmorphic disorder can lead people to do a lot of things to their bodies and faces that end up damaging them in the long run. Others, perhaps, will do anything for the pursuit of fame. But what do you think? Would you have an extreme plastic surgery? Go on and tell me about it in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.